Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I am doing the books I'll never read tag. I don't know by who this was created. I am not tagged and I will not tag anyone in particular. If you guys just want to do this tag as well, please feel free to do so. And I just really quickly wanted to thank you guys so much for just all the new subscribers that I've gained. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. It has just gone so very quickly in the past week and when I hit 2,000 subscribers, there will definitely be some sort of little teeny tiny giveaway to celebrate that milestone. And right now, let's jump into the video with question number one. I wrote it down on my notebook thing, so if I'm staring down, it's because I'm looking at what I wrote down. Question number one is a really hyped book you're not interested in reading. So for this one, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a different thing because this book actually hasn't come out yet, but I feel like there is already a ton of buzz, not too much, but still just a ton of buzz around the book at the moment. And that is uh, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. And some of you guys who have been following me for a little while might know that I really, really dislike John Green. Like I really, haven't liked any of his books. I read like The Fault in Our Stars and I thought it was like, okay, I just meh. I've also read Paper Towns by him, which is like one of my least favorite books ever that I read. And I've also read Looking for Alaska and I read that one rather quickly, but I just wanted to get it over with. Back then I thought I liked it, but looking back at it, like I, I don't remember anything of the story, like anything. So yeah, John Green is not, no, not one of my favorite authors. Like the only reason why I would be interested in reading it is to see if I would still dislike him or not, but I am not like very eager on doing that. Question number two is a series you won't start slash finished. So I've picked two series for like the question. So a series that I won't start is definitely Game of Thrones. And the only reason why I would not start this book series is because one, I'm just caught up on the TV show. So I know like everything that's happened, like the main events, of course, where you don't read the books, you don't get the details, but the Game of Thrones books are so long. Like I cannot spend that much time on a book series. Like I already have so many other book series that I need to get caught up with. And a book series that I won't finish is definitely the Shatter Me trilogy by Tahira Mafi. I read Shatter Me. It was just so completely not what I wanted it to be. I just wanted this to be a really awesome dystopian book about a girl whose touch is lethal. So when she touches you, you will die. And it just wasn't, it was just like a character based story and I did not like Tara Moffey's writing style. I'm sorry guys. So yeah, I definitely won't be seeing myself finishing this series ever. Like I have zero interest in it. And by the way guys, I didn't mention it before, but with saying my own opinions, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You know, we all have our own opinions opinions. This is just how I feel. I respect other people's opinions and I hope that you respect mine. So yeah. Question number three, a classic that you're just not that interested in. So for this one, I have two classics. The first one is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, which is really, really popular, but I've heard that it's just kind of hard to get into. And I've also heard a ton of people say that they didn't really think it was that amazing. I just have only heard of this book since a couple of years because I live in the Netherlands. So English classics aren't really that big of a thing here um, and my other classic that I wrote down is To Kill a Mockingbird by I don't know who the writer is but I've just heard so many people talk about this and I've heard that both of the books are actually really good I'm just, I don't know, something is holding me back. I'm just not really a big fan of classics. Question number four, a genre that you've never read. So I could also kind of say classics, but I've definitely read like a couple of Dutch classics. Um, but if I have to say a genre in the young adult uh, book community thing, I definitely have to say historical fiction. And I am really interested in historical fiction. I always really enjoyed learning about history because about history still fascinated me. So I feel like historical fiction would actually be a really awesome genre for me to read. I just haven't yet and I really need to do so. And then the last question is question number five. A book on your shelves you'll probably never ever actually read. One, I'm really really certain that I will never pick it up and that is The Kill Order by James Dashner which is sort of like the fourth or the 0 0.5 book in the Maze Runner series because this is a prequel. It follows different characters from the original Maze Runner series. I read the Maze Runner trilogy. I actually really disliked it, but at a time I just I just read it. <laughs> I didn't really have any feelings for it. I just have zero interest in finding out what the world was before 
how the world was in the Maze Runner and there also is a sort of like fifth or I don't even know 0.75 book in the series which is called The Fever Code which would be right before the Maze Runner and I feel like I'd be more interested in that one than this one but still not interested enough to pick it up. So that was the super fun and short quick books I'll never read tag. It's been such a long time since I've done a tag and I really enjoyed doing these so if you guys have any suggestions for other tags that I could do like I might do the Gilmore Girls one so just let me know which uh, tags you really really enjoy and you might see it on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up. You guys can also follow me on Goodreads on my bookstagram. I have a personal Instagram Snapchat and I have an email address so you guys can do whatever you want with all of my social media pages I will also leave that in the description down below again Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye